Okay, today guys, I'm going to show you how to make a uh, kind of like a micro foundry. When you're doing really small pieces, like when I showed you the video of doing chain link, you need to have a setup that's extra small. <clears throat> so what I've done is, I've gotten a uh, regular kind of torch you can pick up anywhere, made for just propane. Okay, I got a regular tank, and it sets on a stand with two wires. I just bent on my vise, right? So that gives me about the right level of uh, where I want it to set. Now, you're gonna need a an iron cast iron ladle, okay? And that'll hold your aluminum, right? And then on the other end, I put a bolt because I like it to have an extra leg to stand on off on this side. <clears throat> so, if we take this little foundry apart, what you'll find is it's made of hardy backer, which is made for tile. Um, it's the backing for tile. And on the inside, it's just a pile of perlite. And the perlite is cheap, and you can find it at any place that sells uh, topsoil and that kind of stuff. It's for plants. And uh, it's actually mined out of the earth and heated up, and it expands. Um... But anyways, it's basically fireproof. And the hardy backer is pretty hard to burn. And then I have it in a uh, stainless steel dog bowl. Now, with all that said, there's probably a thousand variations of how you could basically set this up. And I'm sure we're gonna see a lot of copycat videos. <clears throat> but anyways, you basically could build this out of almost anything. You could put a piece of steel there, stuff that's you know basically fireproof the main idea is you're trying to trap air in the bottom of this okay and you don't even need the perlite you just need to trap air the perlite just helps um, it just helps a little bit more so anyways we're gonna set this thing up and run it Okay, now, it's going to take maybe, depending on the temperature in the room, five to seven minutes, maybe ten minutes, depends on how much you're putting in the ladle, but uh, it'll take about that amount of time to melt this down, and so I'll come back, we'll come back when um, it's been melted down. Alright guys, so it's been about six, six and a half minutes, I'd say it's about... 40 degrees in my garage right now and you can see that it's uh, completely liquefied and ready to pour all right so I'm gonna cut the gas on this and we're gonna go ahead and pour it yeah, you can see this it's pink hot right now in 40 degree weather out in the garage in about six and a half, seven minutes, something like that. There we go. So we're up. Let that set for just a second there and uh, let it harden up and I'll let you see what we've got. Okay, let's dig it up and see if it sets on fire. This is actually uh, oiled sand, so sometimes it sets on fire when you use it. There we go. I took a, uh, <coughs> wow, that's a lot of smoke. Alright, so what I did was I took a ping pong bowl and I cut a hole in it and I buried it in the oiled sand just to kind of give you an idea of the size of a small time project like that. So there we go. Micro foundry.